Hi everyone. So the next um, app that I'm going to highlight on this channel is going to be an app called Edison. So it or Edison SE, and SE stands for Save Editor. But that's not what this is going to be about today. So Edison is a app that allows you to basically manage saves. So if you want to back up your saves um, and store them on your PC. Um, or if you want to start editing them, or even if you want to start a game again, but make sure you've got your um, complete save backed up elsewhere, so you can always go back to that if you want to. Loads of reasons why you would want to have Edison. So first thing we're going to do is go to the Homebrew App Store to find the app, um, and I will show you what it's called. So it is Edison, so it's, uh, I've got it at the top here, E-D-I-Z-O-N, and then hyphen S-E, okay? And this is the app you're going to want to download. So mine says remove over to the right, but you're going to want to uh, get that one that says download and install. Um, just be aware that there is an older version of Edison that hasn't been updated in almost two years, but this one with the SE, if you look on the right in the, about the 10th line down, it says updated. This was recently updated in July, uh, just over a month ago, so you know it's being uh, looked after. Um, I'm not going to go through um, sort of the added features or anything because this isn't a change log. Uh, this is more about what you can do with it. But the whole point in this is that you can edit or download and back up your saves. Okay, so let's launch it. Um, so you can just press the plus button from here to launch it, which I'll do, or you can just launch it from your home brew. Okay. And as I say that, it doesn't launch properly. But anyway, let's go into it properly. Go album. And there is my Edison SE. I've got it started, so it's at the beginning of my apps, but um, if not, just scroll along to it and launch it. Before you launch it, make sure you close down any games in the background. You need to run this um, with nothing running in the background to sort of manage your saves. Uh, if you do launch it with a game running in the background, it will only um, bring up one game so for instance if i had super mario running in the background it would only show me super mario where at the moment it's showing all my games as i can scroll along to so that i've got installed on my well actually that i've got saved data for on my switch so i might have these games installed anymore but i have saved data so that's why they're showing here so at the top here um, you've got all your games and then there are a few more features at the bottom uh, cheats which is going to be for another video of how to do the cheats and how to uh, manipulate those values to cheat in the game. Guide it is literally one page and about it is one page. But if you, um, let's just go to about so you can see, um, it tells you that there's an update available. So let's get that update whilst we're doing this anyway, whilst we're talking. But make sure you've got the latest version so you've got compatibility with the latest version of Atmosphere and also with your games. Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. It says this may take a while, but so as I said, make sure you've got um, the game in the background not running or anything running in the background, um, and that way you can so nothing's running in the background. So as you can see there, make sure there's nothing running. Otherwise, Edison will not boot the correct way. So let's pop it open, and there are a few features here um, about saving and um, or backing up and restoring saves are the two terms that you've got here um, so you can go into each individual game so for instance if I just wanted to back up Super Mario Odyssey I would select it and then it's going to bring up the profile of what save you've got okay that's me there and there you go the so now we're in this game only to back up this one so it's it's a bit misleading on the front here. It says no config for this file. Editing is disabled. So we'll get into editing saves in another video. But it, there is a save data in the background that I'm going to use. And along the bottom, you've got next game, next user, backup, restore, and back. So if we press X to backup, it then creates an automatic name for the backup. Um, and you may notice it's backwards, but it is um, today's date, 2021. 08 17 so august 17th and then the time which is 12 40 and 22 seconds those seconds are important for if you want to create multiple saves at the same time um that way it won't it will always be different because the seconds are always going to change click okay 
and then successfully create a backup. Simple as that. That is it done. Would you like to upload to a non-file? So I've tried this both ways where I click yes and it often fails or I click yes and I get no confirmation. Unfortunately, I cannot find anything how to access the file if it does upload to a non-file. We'll click yes just so I can show you. So it uploads it and it fails. I don't know how to set up a non-file. I cannot find any information how to do it. So I'm not going to be able to explain it to you in this video. If I ever find out how to do it, I will show you. But anyway, that game is now backed up. So that game save is backed up for Super Mario Odyssey. And the one unfortunate part of this interface is that it doesn't tell you that there's a save there. But if you now click restore by pressing the Y button, it will there show you my backups. So there is my backup has okay and that's good so that game is now backed up and saved and we will find out where it is saved in a minute and um, if you want to put it elsewhere you can back it up to your PC but now I could go into Mario I could restart the whole game or delete my save data from there and it is backed up onto Edison for me to restore at a later date let's, drop, let's go back to the main menu but the, there are many reasons why you'd want to have your backup data saved if you want to transfer it to another switch or uh, you, you need to reset your uh, switch for any reason and you want to wipe it or just in case you want to play around with the editing software which we'll go into in another video but if you want to play around with the editing then you, you might know what you're doing with that you might want to uh, try some cheats out and know you can restore back to a previous re uh, version loads of reasons why so another thing I want to show you is to how to back up all your games so it could be it'd be a tedious thing to do going into each game each user and backing up uh, individually so say I'm transferring to a new switch and I just want to back up everything you can as you see at the bottom right uh, ZR and now hold that down which I'm doing now and it's changed to back up all and then press X and would you like to back up all saves on this console this may take a while you click yes and this is is what we're going to call a batch backup so it's doing all the games in one big batch so it's exactly the same it's created a um, date and the time for uh, the batch backup and then that way it, everything is going to be backed up into one big file or multiple files I, I'm not too sure how it looks in the structure but it, it basically is saving every save that is on my switch successfully created backups now when we we go into um, Super Mario, hopefully. So that has saved, hopefully, everything. And let's go to Restore. And, and as you can see, it's actually saves every um, user as well as every save for your Switch. So you don't need to go into each individual user either. I find this really useful. So I had saved data under both of these files here, Taz and Ewan. And now they are both saved there. And I can restore both of those to my um to my switch so that is it in a nutshell quite straightforward quite simple to use go into a game and so if i wanted to transfer uh, my data from taz to dad review for instance i could now go into dad review and i can restore and I can go back and choose my TAS one. And now that will transfer my data over to another one. So they would have the same data I had there. That's quite interesting and, and could be helpful if you want to create a new profile um, or if you want to give, say, in Mario Kart, for instance, I've downloaded all the cars are um, unlocked. So now the, another user can have those on their file and uh, continue on from there. It's just a good, easy to use. Um, program to back up and manage your saves. Let's get out of this and go to our. Um, so, if you go, I have an app called Goldleaf, which allows you to um, view your folder structure. And if we just explore the content and go to our SD card. And hopefully, there's a file. There's the Edison. And there are all your saves, batch saves. There's the batch save uh, we just made. As you can see, it's today's date and it was the time we made it at, at 12.43.06. And then I can, if I wanted to, I could pop my SD card into my PC and transfer that over to my PC. And that way I've got a nice secure 
save uh, all my saves on my PC separately. That is Edison in a nutshell in regards to just um, downloading or backing up and restoring saves. Very simple to use and um, very user friendly, which is what I'm all about. There are many other features in the back background of this. Um, one is the cheats so, and one is the editing, editing the cheats as well. So I'm going to have to know a video once I've got it all set up and everything, but um, well, I'll show you how to cheat in a game and uh, use those cheats to have a bit of fun with the game. Um, maybe you want to uh, get shinies in Pokemon or you want to have all the cards available in Mario Kart or you want all the characters unlocked in Jump Force uh, or you want all the game unlocked in Mario Sonic. There's loads of reasons why you would cheat and you just say, like, maybe you want to play a fighting game, but you don't want to wait and download all the characters and unlock them. You also want to play it, play it and enjoy it with your friends. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate uh, you watching my video.